let me talk about electrocardiography. Now, this is uh, video four of 2402 Heart Lecture. Let me show you this image first. So here's an electrocardiogram. So this is the tracing of the electrical activity that your heart uh, goes through every cycle. And these are the images that I'll be describing here in a minute. So it's the P wave and it's the first wave it signifies atrial depolarization, which you remember that's when all the sodium rushes into the cell. Uh, this QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization when the ventricles, a much larger mass of muscle, depolarize. Atrial repolarization happens here as well, and I'll, that's all listed on a, the previous slide. Uh, we've got some segments here which I'll talk about, and then a T wave which is ventricular repolarization. This is when the potassium uh, flushes outside. There's going to be a delay and everything's going to reset and then you're going to go again. So when you see an electrocardiogram displayed on a screen, it's like beep, 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 and those are these things being repeated. Here they are defined and described. Uh, EKG, I still say that because it was electrocardio with a K-gram from the original German when they invented it, but we sometimes will see ECG, I don't know, I just stuck there, but either way, there's the word. Uh, P-wave, like I mentioned, notice that these events are electrical, so these, uh, these curves, these bumps and stuff represent the electrical events that are occurring in the heart. And then you can detect them outside of the heart with, you know, leads on your, uh, I'm sorry, electrodes on your wrist and legs and so on. So those waves represent electrical events, but they cause mechanical events. So atrial depolarization results in atrial systole, which is contraction. You'll have to know that word, systole. QRS complex, which I mentioned is ventricular depolarization and atrial repolarization causes ventricular systole and this repolarization ultimately leads to atrial relaxation. So you're going to have contraction, uh, which is called diastole. Uh, you're going to have contraction, like electrical stimulus followed by contraction. Then re reversion of that electrical stimulus, which causes uh, relaxation. And atria first, ventricles next, atria next, ventricles next. And there's the T wave, which is ventricle, ventricular repolarization and its result. Uh, these little intervals here are important, uh, especially for a cardiologist. And there are more than these that you can measure. I'm just giving you a few of them. There's what's commonly called the PR interval, which, as you can see, goes from P to Q, right? That makes perfect sense. So technicians like to call it the PQ interval. Uh, I could use either one. I'm probably going to go PR just because that's the most commonly used. Uh, and this is, uh, like I say here, is the time from the beginning of atrial depolarization to the beginning of ventricular depolarization. So what that means is the atria start to depolarize here, the ventricles start to depolarize here. So this is roughly the amount of time. It's not this exact time frame, but this is the about the amount of time. It looks like almost 0.2 seconds. Sorry. Uh, yeah, 0.2 seconds between the beginning of ventricular contraction and the beginning of, uh, sorry, beginning of atrial contraction and the beginning of ventricular contraction. So those times roughly correlate. This is not atrial contraction. This is just the electrical signal that causes atrial contraction. But if this one starts here and the next one starts here, that's about the gap between the contract, between the two chambers contracting. The, where am I? I went off the chart here. There's the ST segment and that is uh, between S and T. How about that, right? That's nice. And what that is, is the entire time the ventricles are completely depolarized. So this is the amount of time that they, as a result of this, relax. So this is the amount of time that they get to refill. And then last, uh, oops, I'll go here. Last is the QT interval. I've been told I'm a QT. <laughs> hmm. All right, QT interval goes from Q to the end of T. So beginning of the QRS complex to the end of the T wave, which is described here, time from the beginning of ventricular depolarization to the end of ventricular repolarization. So, oh shoot, did I say this? I'd like to change the previous one. 
Entire time the ventricles are completely depolarized means about the entire time that they are contracting. So scratch that when I said relaxing, it is contracting. Now the QT interval, basically one complete ventricular uh, trip through the action potential, begins to depolarize and finishes repolarizing. So it kind of like the ventricles have completely reset uh, electrically by the end of this, which is about the amount of time that it takes for one complete ventricular cycle as well, which we'll be talking about in the next video. And this one's over.